Well, something seems really, really odd to me here, and it's not the mainstream media. You know what? It could be the mainstream media, and it could be the sheriff's department both, but something is very odd. Let me ask you this question regarding the incident that took place that I reported on last night. A Houston sheriff's deputy, 10-year veteran, they claim gets killed in the line of duty by some guy who walks up behind him and caps him like four times, three times in the back, one time in the head, right? And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about what, you know, there's Black Lives Matter and everything and, uh, you know, all this stuff that's going on and it's revenge this and, you know, against white people and the cops and all that. Let's, you know what, let's take a look at something else here that should really pique your interest. If you worked in the sheriff's department, right? Here's the sheriff right here, this guy, this older guy here. Here is the spokesman. Here's a couple other individuals. If one of your colleagues or one of your personnel in your sheriff's department got killed in the line of duty, I guarantee you that every single person who works in that sheriff's department would have gotten to know the face of the assailant after he was captured, right? You would know his face, wouldn't you? That's right. This guy right here, when he did his press conference last night, uh, late last night, he acted like he was pissed off like a mother, excuse my French, but he acted like he was pissed off, right? So he'd be one of the first people that I think that would want to, I want to see what this son of a bitch looks like. I want to see him fry when, uh, you know, for the death penalty years down the road, whatever the case may be, right? So here's the picture of the guy they captured, Shannon Miles for the uh, alleged shooting last night. So let's take a look at everything here. Looking, uh, we're looking for this man, uh, the man they believe uh, they now have in custody. The image of him was captured on surveillance video last night. As he walked up to Deputy Darren Goforth and shot him multiple times and then fled the scene in a red Ford pickup truck. That's the image caught on surveillance tape. Harris County Sheriff's Deputy Darren Goforth was 40... Okay. So you see the sheriff's department is the one who provided that mugshot for their press conference, right? And you seen the surveillance camera footage right here, right? Looks like he may have a hairline, like he has hair, right? Okay, so something doesn't make sense here, all right? The sheriff's department provides the mugshot. CNN is doing the story. And they're showing the picture of the mugshot behind the sheriff's department personnel. And yet, KHOU Channel 11 out of Houston has just reported this. Let's take a look. KHOU 11, update. Previous mugshot of Shannon J. Miles shown at HCSO press conference was incorrect. This is the correct mugshot? Completely different looking guy, right? How is it? That you have a once in, a, I mean, maybe a once or twice in a lifetime event happen where a cop gets killed in the line of duty. Let's say maybe it's happened a few times, but that's something that you're never going to forget. Nor are you never going to forget the person who committed that crime. And I do not believe that there is any way that the sheriff's department could have made a mistake like this with such a huge uh, 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 circumstance surrounding this whole thing. One of their deputies got killed. How does that make them look like they care about their own deputy enough to to know that they had the right person or the right person's picture, right? Does that sound a little fishy to you? It does to me. But there's the picture right here of the guy. And Stark does not look like this here. I mean, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. This guy looks like he's got a little more chubbier cheeks. I, I mean, I, you can't see his cheeks here. But uh, I don't know. I, I'm just telling you, something does not smell right to me here. Going to have to get to more to the bottom of this. This could be a whole ploy um, just to, uh, uh, you know, actually get people away from uh, this whole Black Lives Matter thing. I don't know. I don't know what the case is. But uh, I'm going to have to dig a little deeper here and see what I find. Thanks.